Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Overworld Games, and we have our first signs of life from, guess what? Mafia 3. I really wasn't expecting much news from this game at all. We haven't heard anything Mafia related uh, in quite some time. First of all, I really wanted to give a big shout out to Open World Games fan Aiden Big for pointing me to this news. He let me know about this news right when it happened. Well, let's start off with the most recent news and then trickle our way back to what's going on with Mafia 3 development. So first up, this news comes from Rick Pascalone. He is a voice actor on Mafia 2. He played the role as, get this, the main lead, Vito. So I would take uh, what he says with some weight, of course. Uh, he was asked by Aiden, make Mafia 3. Actually, that's more of a demand, and that's what we want. We want Mafia 3. And he replied by saying, might have some exciting news very soon. So it seems like we could be hearing about Mafia 3 very, very soon, but what is going on with Mafia 3? What's the latest going on with this game? I know you guys are extremely curious, as was I, so I ended up digging up a ton of news about Mafia 3. Well, the most recent news comes from a website called PlayAsia.com, and they're a retailer that, of course, sells video games, uh, and they have listed Mafia 3 for the PS4 and Xbox One, and it sounds like we could be seeing pre-orders for the game sometime soon. Uh, uh, and an announcement, of course. I would expect the announcement to be big at a big event, possibly PAX, or I would think uh, sometime in June of this year at E3 2015. That makes the most sense to me, and I really, really am crossing my fingers that it does have some sort of co-op element to it because I really do love co-op. Also, 2K Games recently launched a brand new console game studio known as Hangar 13, and this is led by developer Hayden Blackman. Some of you may have actually heard that name. This guy is pretty popular. He helped with uh, many Star Wars games, including Star Wars Galaxies, and then the more well-known one, in my opinion, Star Wars Force Unleashed. Now, that was the first one that he helped with, and I actually really did enjoy that one, so I'm very hopeful for Mafia 3, and I would believe that he would be helping out whoever was part of 2K Check uh, and anyone that was remaining from the restructuring of that. They were the original Mafia developer, so it sounds like he's going to be working with new talent and some old talent as well. And then finally, rumors point towards Mafia 3 being set in Louisiana, according to a casting call uh, from Take Two Interactive. And the casting call was about three characters. They are Franklin, Tony, and Mickey. And the details are this. The trio of Louisiana natives are Franklin, Tony, and Mickey. Franklin is in his early 20s and knows how to get a job done at any cost. Tony is in his early 30s and is apparently a genius with numbers and statistics who runs sports betting operations. And then finally, Mickey is in his late teens who likes to run his mouth and acts as a street hustler. Uh, sadly, he can't back his big talk up with much. So it sounds like they're going after a lot of the story and narrative we are familiar with the Mafia franchise, which is so appropriate. I mean, they should never ever get rid of good storytelling and they did such a great job with storytelling in Mafia 2. The one thing that they didn't do well uh, with was the actual open world side missions and the activities that you partake in. They really need to flesh out the open world and make it to where you can go to every little corner and there's always something to do like the first Mafia and then of course uh, the Godfather of the game which you guys have probably heard me talk about that one. It is one of my favorite open world games of all time and I really hope that Mafia 3 uh, reflects the Godfather in some way. That would be so, so cool. It would be my dream game, to be honest, especially if they managed to make it with a ton of side activities that made a lot of sense within the world and the context of the storytelling, and then added co-op on top of it. Talk about a blast uh, in the Prohibition era. So there's no firm release date for Mafia 3, but it really does sound like it is being developed right now, and I'm crossing my fingers that that is true. I hope we see a big reveal at E3 2015 or one of the game cons that are coming up here 
in early 2015. It would be quite something to see Mafia 3 on PS4 and Xbox One. And of course, don't forget you guys on PC. I would expect it to end up on PC. Mafia games usually do. That is where they were rooted in. So guys, stay tuned right here to Open World Games for more uh, Mafia 3 news. Let me know what you want to see from Mafia 3 in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time.